Hi guys, so this is the best of 2012 and oof, you know what, I actually have quite a bit of stuff. I think my best ofs are probably the longest on YouTube. I know people do like, you know, the 12 best of 2012 and I think that's so awesome and if I could do that, I would definitely do that, but I just think that there are so many really great products that um, I got hold of this year that to just narrow it down to 12, I think you guys would probably miss out. So. Um, it's, it's a pretty long list. I'm going to try and get to it really fast. Now, because it's over the whole year, I'm pretty sure there's reviews that already exist on the channel. So if there is anything that you want a little bit more of an in-depth review on, then I'm sure you all know this, but on the main channel page, there's like a little search bar. I don't know why they make it so invisible. It just kind of blends in the background, but you just, you know, type in whatever, and then it should pop up or any of the videos that mention that brand or whatever and blah, blah, blah. So, um, I don't think there's anything here that doesn't have, a, I don't know, you know what, I'm not that organized, and, um, I'm just so tired, I'm so exhausted, so if my energy's really low, it was either no video at all, or just, you know, churn it out, and I'm going to try and do quite a bit, because as you know, I, you know, at this point in time, I'm looking at the forecast of 2013, I probably will only be able to make videos four times in the year. So I'm going to try and do like 10 or 15 in those times, like every three months or so. I might find some time, but anyways, I'm still rambling. It's 1.30 there, okay. So let's get to skincare. It's no surprise, obviously, Tatcha, hello. Um, I got to try a lot of new products. I still have a review coming up of their latest collection with an eye cream. I didn't think they would have one, but they do have one now. And um, so I'll do all that. But Tatcha, love it. My skin loves it. Um, it's the first thing that I found in 20 years that kind of is on par or if not better than Shiseido for my skin where I've talked about it before there's a whole whack a dack of videos so I'm not even going to go into that. So I love it and I love Vicky. Love, love, love Vicky. So um, the next skincare is the Neostrata Skin Renewal Peel Solution. I didn't know if I was going to love this as much as the Dennis Gross um, alpha beta pads because I love the glow pads and uh, I wanted to get the alpha beta pads so I did a review of this and I thought I'll probably like that more did it well after all said and done no I think I prefer this I in fact, not think I definitely prefer this over the glow pads which I will not the glow pads the alpha beta oh, there's just too many pads alpha beta pad thing that I'll be doing a review on but anyways love that I've used quite a bit um I think there's yeah there's a review, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, the next one is uh, Time to Eat Some Crow. I really never thought I would go back to using these kinds of granule exfoliators, which I used, you know, 20 years ago or something, and now I just primarily use Enzyme. Uh, I find it much gentler on my skin and does just as an effective of a job, you know, my Viva thing, you know, how much I love that, yada, yada, yada. So I got a sample of this with my portfolio. And uh, it sat in a drawer for like a month or two, whatever, and then at one day I was having problems and I thought, oh, you know what, I think I'm just repeating myself over and over. I think I'm telling the same story. Anyways, there's a review, I think, on this, but anyways, it's awesome. If you like granules, even if you don't, because I don't like granules, this is so finely granulated. It's um, jojoba beads, so... I didn't know that they could get them down to like little tiny particles, but they can, and it's awesome, and it smells amazing, and that's fantastic. Okay, my god, this video is going to be so long. Right. Okay, so let's get into what we were talking about, the glow pads. Alpha Beta glow pads, these things are freaking amazing. I don't self-tan. I'm not into that whole thing that went around YouTube with the, um, what the heck was it called? Uh, Saint Tropez and the Zen and the, all this sort of stuff. I just can't do it. I couldn't be bothered. These were so easy. I think I got one as a tester for something and it was so easy. I just, I can't even, ugh, I can't even speak right now. And when does that ever happen, right? When I'm not talking? Anyways, um, super gorgeous glow. Tanned, but not fake, not orange, very, very sort of natural and slight. If you're looking for that really like baked on bronze kind of thing, this may be a bit too light for you. I love it because I don't really tan. I just get what I get from the sun and my body's darker than my face because I just, I'm constantly slathering and, you know, brushing on SPF. So this just sort of matches me and it's gorgeous and beautiful. And even in the wintertime, if you just use one every 
week or four or five days you get a little bit of color but it's really the glow factor you really do glow oh my god i'm talking too much that tantel again this is the only probably tanning thing that i would ever use the rest is just too much uh trouble for me and um these tantals they come in the darker and the fair to medium i got both and i like the fair to medium i don't the, the darker one it's a little bit harder in terms of getting it all even and I just like a sort of just a tiny bit where my legs aren't like, you know, pasty sticks under, you know, a skirt or shorts. So that's really all I'm looking for. Those are amazing. So there's that. La, 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 la. Okay, let's get into the makeup. Okay, Dior Air Flash. I just did a review of it. Say no more. Love it. And for those who were asking for a tutorial, you know, I'm so, I always try to um, cater to everybody, but this is a review only channel, as you know, for, you know, X amount of years that it's been up. I don't think I've done a single tutorial, tutorial. So I just want to keep it as a review. I'm not a makeup artist. For me, I guess I just, if I'm going to watch people apply makeup, it's going to be professional makeup artists. So to me, I'm not really interested in seeing, um, my, you know, gal pals when I'm over at their place. I don't care how they put on their makeup. I mean, they look fantastic, don't get me wrong. And some of them are probably better than makeup artists. <laughs> but I watch, you know, Lisa Eldridge and Pixie Woo Sisters, and that's really about it. So for me, I just kind of go, no, my channel is really about products. So that's what I know um, a lot about, where my expertise, not really. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. Um, it's not putting on makeup. So I, I can do an okay job, but it's that's not, you know, I'm not a makeup artist. So I don't do tutorials where, so this literally... For those of you who've asked how do you put it on and how come it doesn't work for me, it's this, that, one spray, wherever it goes, it goes. I'm really only doing this and I'm really only doing it as almost like a tinted moisturizer for those days where I now literally have five minutes at 6.30, 6.15 in the morning, that's it. I don't want to spend any more time and it's it's really, I, I shouldn't even bother because why? But that does enough coverage, but it's very, very, you know what, there's already a review. Screw that. Okay, the next is the This Works Perfect Look Skin Miracle. Um, heard about it on Lisa Elder's channel. I've talked about this beforehand. It's brilliant, brilliant. It's sort of like a tinted skincare thing. I don't look at it as skincare. I really do look at it as makeup because it is tinted. So this gives you an amazing glow. There's so many of you who've already sort of emailed me and messaged me saying how brilliant this is. So we all know. That on top, this, on top of that, in the summertime when you've got color, it's the most flawless face I've ever seen. Nothing really beats that, where you're literally not wearing anything um, except for this, which is kind of a skincare product that has a little bit of tint with caramel, sort of, I don't know, it's all natural. And this, like the tiniest bit, like I'm talking, that if you go overboard, that's it, forget it. It goes from like stunning to like hideous mess. So you have to really be careful. It literally is just like a and sometimes you'll get a splotch and I will dab it off. I mean, I just, anyways, that, this one's a little bit tricky just because of the color. Um, foundations. Okay. So I did a lot of Chanel this year. I have to say, I was really quite surprised because none of the Chanel's ever worked for me. The, the previous pro and the Vitas and all that stuff. I tried them all and they looked like ass on my face. No kidding. So I was like, okay, am I the only one? So they relaunched, they came out with more shades, and they yellowed, not yellowed, well they did yellow, but that's not the right way to say it. Um, the undertones are a lot more olivey and yellow based, so, um, which kind of makes sense because I'm sure Chanel has a huge Asian clientele. Um, anytime I'm at Holtz, it's like everyone's Asian that's shopping at Chanel, so you, we really don't have pink undertones. So they revamped, brought out a whole whack of new shades, I'm 30 beige. And um, I would have to say I, I got the Perfection, the Aqua, and then a, the Vita Lumiere Aqua, Aqua, and then a Vita Lumiere Aqua Compact. God, I got a lot of them. Okay, so I really love this. This to me kind of reminds me of face and body in terms of how sheer it is, um, water-based. Um, you guys all know about it, so I don't need to talk about it. So that's definitely, I really do love that for very sort of sheer coverage. Um, this little sucker here... And I'm sorry for any Canadians because I did order this from the States and um, I actually think I got this one on eBay. 
or something. I don't know when it first launched and I was getting different things from Canada saying, oh yeah, you will get it, but not until, you know, Christmas. And then I heard, no, you aren't. And I don't know. I, I don't know if you can still get this, but, um, and then I kind of forgot about it because I tried it and this was in the summertime when I'd gotten the Vitalumier and all the other stuff. It didn't look that great. No, it did not. I mean, it looked fine, but I was like, oh, um, probably because I, it wasn't the right shade. It was a little bit too heavy. This is, you know, a cream. This was in the height of summer. So yeah. Anyways, I pulled it out about a month ago when I was, you know, quite pale the way that I am now. And I love it. I love it, but I love it with one specific brush. I'm going to have to do a review on this, um, but it's the Vita Lumiere uh, Aqua Compact, and um, again, 30 beige. Love that. The other foundation I'm really super surprised is Dior, because, you know, I'm not really a Dior fan, as I've said. Their eyeshadows stink, all that sort of stuff. This one sort of got me into it, and I thought, well, oh yeah, here's the story. Have I done a review on this yet? Oh, nuts. Okay, I'm going to have to do a review after this, so I won't really speak about it, but it's Dior Forever. And I am 031, and I will try and do a video of that. So I'm not going into that too much. Right. Concealer. Clay de Poe. Yep, Clay de Poe. Would I put Hourglass in there? You know what? Hourglass is um, a nice concealer. I definitely like it. It's half the cost of this sucker. Um... But there's just something about this I need to use less of this. It's really creamy and emollient. I think the hourglass is a little bit creamier, which I don't actually like. I don't like it where it's like so creamy. It kind of does funkiness under there. So um, this just covers face and under eye. It's just multi-purpose, and I'm telling you. Okay, can you even see that? So you see that dark ring around the edge? That's how much I've used with daily use for months now. Um, and it's, I can't twist it anymore. That is at the top. I've got an entire, I mean, I don't want to break it, but I've used it every single day, people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will last you forever. So that's where I think the cost kind of mitigates itself, is that this sucker lasts longer than anything. Whereas with the Hourglass, when I first had that, I had that before I had this. Um, and I was using it every day and a huge chunk is already gone. Like you can use that up within a couple of months. This I think literally will take a couple of years. So there you go. Um, what else do I have here? Any more skin? Oh yeah, here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Clinique, the only Clinique product I probably own at this point. Um, I did try and dabble a little bit after I got into this and yeah. I mean, they're fine. It's just not my cup of tea. So um, for all of you who love Clinique, um, I'm so glad that you do love them. For me, it's just, they're okay except for this. This product really is the bomb diggity -o. It is Airbrush Concealer. Again, Lisa Eldridge hooked me up with this sucker, and I am color 04 Neutral Fair. The other colors are more sort of correctors. They go really pink, and I think there's a green one, and there's all sorts of things. So this is the only sort of like natural looking one that, I've, I mean, I, I don't know that much about Chanel, so, I mean, not Chanel, uh, Clinique, so I'm kind of talking out my butt, but... Um, love it, love it, love it. People have asked me, well, if you love this so much, why are you using a different concealer? I don't use this as a concealer. I really use this as a highlight, um, light reflection. So if I put on this, you know, I might, well, this one I actually don't need to because it kind of brightens on its own. But if I'm using Hourglass or some other ones, um, just to mix it up a little bit, or I don't need to look like crazy flawless like the Clay de Poe will give me. This I'll put like here, here, you know, like places that we gals need it. And then just kind of here where I don't put concealer down here, I kind of put it over here. So I'll do that or I'll just switch up. So it's not really a concealer to me, even though it is. And it's enough um, on some days, you know, if I've gotten a lot of sleep and I'm looking, you know, extra rested. But anyways, there you go. Oh my God, 14 minutes, right? Um... Eyeshadows. Really, there should just be one brand, and that is Burberry. Um, I, dang, I'm going to have to do a video on these afterwards, too. Uh, I don't think there's a video up of these. They are by far, I just haven't picked this color, um, not for any reason other than it was the first thing out there. And I do use this every day just to blend out the crease. Um, this is Almond 06, but it's certainly not my favorite color, although it's right up there. Um, Burberry has the best eyeshadows, period. Full stop. 
bar none. Um, for me, they are the best textured. Um, they just, you know, it's a family of neutrals, but they, why am I even talking about it? I'm going to do a video, but Burberry, full show. Um, if there's anything that's sort of on par this whole year with Burberry, that would be these Illusion Dom. And the reason why is because they're completely different. Obviously, these are cream. Those are powders. The Burberries are powders. So my two, I got them all, people. I got all of these, I think, except for the silver white one. And then I just picked up a navy one. So, um, yeah. They are freaking amazing to me. I love, love, love them. My two favorite colors are still Mirafique and Ebloui. Ebloui I probably use more. It's just the bomb diggity. I mean, they're just amazing, amazing, amazing colors. And you just need so, so little of it. And they're just, I don't know. They're just the best. I don't think there's any formulation like that out there. So um, those are the two. Oh, no. You know what? There's a, there's another little guy here that kind of creeped in because really I've just been sort of focused on Burberry for eyeshadows. Um, but this little guy, a little NARS, Ponderosa. You can see how dark that color is. Um, can you even see that? No, no, I don't know. It's not really serving it justice, but it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it's great for, you know, on its own as an underneath color, whatever have you. Love, love, loving that. That's a brilliant one. Um, and I know it's been almost a year, but I got this right in January and I still have to include it. And that's the Stila in the Lights palette. Um, I feel like it should have been included last year, but I didn't do it because I just gotten it. Um, and so it, it definitely, it's the bomb diggity. It's got all the colors, all the neutrals. I use this black every single day. It kind of makes um, my waterline thing. You know, I've got that whole waterline video for those of you who need waterline, blah, blah, blah. There's a video, but that palette, is amazing. Uh, way better than the Naked palettes, I have to say. I kind of don't use the Naked palettes as much as I used to. Um, I don't know why. Why do I? I think that I think because this palette kind of took over. So, love that palette. Um, let's... The Kevin O'Quan Medium. Sculpting. It's, it's kind of dark, but it just, it shears out beautifully. You know, he was the king of contouring. He brought the best product on the market, really, for that kind of stuff. Oh, wait a second, there's one other one, but that's in a haul video. Oh my god, I have a whole whack of videos to do afterwards, but I'm so tired, okay. Oh, eyes, right. This little nubbly nub. The Giorgio Armani Waterproof Pencils, I've already done a video, I have yet to upload it, but there will be a video on these. Holy crap, the best eye learners ever. Now, I always use this silk, his regular, uh, pencils and I have them in all probably all colors and that was my go-to for years and years and years It's really the only pencil that I used and then I could I couldn't find anything on the waterline as you know Then somebody told me about these but they were limited edition and I could never get a hold of them Well this year I finally got a hold of them and then they told me it is going to be part of the permanent range so I'm sure they're already out now these last about as long as anything that I'm ever going to find without my waterline video with like six gazillion steps that keeps it on for like eight, nine, ten hours looking immaculate. This doesn't do that, but for just one product on its own, that's pretty darn close. These are the bomb bomb diggity and there will be a video on that. So Lash Genius, Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Genius. This sucker is to waterproof any mascara. So for those of you who love all those ones that don't, that aren't waterproof, um, and for you Asian gals who we always have, you know, problems with our lashes, blah 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 blah. This, and I did this. I did it with the fresh. You know how much I love that fresh. And then it turns out in the summertime, I was wearing it, and then I got home and it was like. Oh wasn't waterproof. I'd only used it in the winter, or, or I discovered it in the winter. And um, anyway, so I did the test, did one with the Lash Genius, one without. This was all crazy, crazy ass. And then this one, pristine, perfect. This thing really, really, really works. Does it make them crunchy? I guess like what any waterproof mascara would do. It doesn't make them extra crunchy. It doesn't make them extra spiky or anything. It just seals in all the juice. <laughs> So, um, for those of you who have problems and don't want to order from Sasa and all the Japanese brands that I love that really kind of have that um, thing going where it, it's sort of smudge proof, this is brilliant. Oh my gosh, it's almost 20 minutes. Right. 
The next ones are brushes. Okay, I just have a few more. The shoe, what can I say about that? Um, I did actually get the Shiseido brush. I will do another review of that. Um, and I got that too late in the year to really include it. And then I have different thoughts about that anyways. The Real Techniques brushes. For affordable cream products, um, synthetic brushes, these are amazing. And I just happen to pick this, these two out. All of them. I use those eye ones all the time. I mean, they're just fantastic for the price, and there's a video on that already. Um, the Paula Dorf brushes, I love it. And every time I see Lisa Eldridge or Charlotte Tilbury use this, which they use all the time, I'm like, yes, I've got that. I've got a few of them. So, um, I just freaking love these brushes. They're great for applying. I applied my eyeshadow that you see me with right now. Blending, whatever. I think they even use it for concealer. That and the little smudge brush that you know that I love. And then I have this other, oh, any of them, any of the brushes. But these two, no, there's another one, the smoky one too. So there's that. And Hakuhoto brushes. I just brought this one out. I think I've got about nine of them. I have to do a video on that too. Amazing, amazing, amazing brushes. I will go into that or else this video will be like an hour long. Um, there's only one lip product for me this year. And that is the YSL Glossy Stains. I wear this every single day. Um, this one just happens to be number seven, but I also love the number six as well with my, uh-oh, where the heck is it? Did I even talk about this? No, I didn't. Chanel 36 Beige Lip Liner. I've talked about this and talked about this. This with anything, anything changes it for me. Um, it's the right undertone. It perfectly complements my skin tone. I can wear it with the darkest of colors, the lightest of colors. You could just put this and some balm. It's amazing. And I bought three backups, which I've never done for a lip liner ever in my entire life, which I've been on this line for a while. So that's humongousaurus. Um, right. The only other lip thing is I didn't wear it that often, but my gosh, and this is like a little sample tester. It's a Shiseido red. I never really wear red, but this red, oh my God, I think there's one video of me with red lipstick and this was it. And it's RD514. That is the most brilliant red color I've ever seen. Hmm. 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 It doesn't really serve it justice, but that is pretty darn amazing if you like reds. Um, and I would suggest going to Sephora or something. You can test them all out there. And um, the last two products, really? Oh, no. Whoops. Three. Oh, my God. This video is so long. Yes to carrots. Love, 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 love it. Um, I was using all sort of Ojan. I still love Ojan. I still do switch it, um, you know, here and there. But this, oh my God, it's the best shampoo, really. Honestly, it's just nat all natural, really, really affordable. Although it's really hard to find in shoppers because they're always sold out, constantly sold out. I'd have to go to like three or four just to grab one. So um, shampoo and conditioner, love it. Um... For the first time in my life, I've actually colored my hair at home. I never, ever, ever used to do that. I was kind of lucky enough that my friends, uh, best friends growing up were all sort of stylists or makeup artists or designers or something like that. And I always got my hair done for free all the time. And um, and I still do to a certain extent, depending on what his schedule's like and if he's still around or if he's in town, yada, yada, or if I'm flying over there. Whatever. Anyways, I digress. Um, but Angela from Quixotic Girly, who I love, um, her hair looked fantastic one day and she was just, she did a video on this and I was like, you know what, I'm going to have to try that. It's this John Frieda foam thing, a majing. I've done it maybe two or three times. I swear to God, it looks exactly, exactly like one I used to do it at a salon. Um, I hadn't colored my hair in years and years and years and years. But this looks exactly the same. I think it's 15 bucks versus walking out of the salon, cut, color, what, 300 bucks? So 15 versus 300, even if it only lasts you half the time, I don't care. I mean, it's 15 bucks. This is brilliant. So easy to use, although I do have help because I've got so much of it. Um, but even on your own, so easy. So that's a best. And then lastly, Orbe. Orbe's Apre Beach Wave and Shine. Is this the strongest holding thing? No, not at all. But the smell is, woo, that smells so good. Somebody said it smelled like Dolce & Gabbana light blue. And I, and I agree. It sort of does smell like that. Um... Except it's in a in a hairspray and it's really really sort of fresh and and um, every time you turn you're like ooh what's that thing and it's you <laughs> so um, does this give me beach beachy hair no because my hair's bone straight but if you had a wave I bet you it would give you some texture I just love it because it's very 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 
soft and um, it, it'll give you the pieces like you know I've got some in today the rare times that I do put something in my hair this is it because you really don't feel like it and I'm really doing it for the smell quite frankly <laughs> so um, yeah anyways 25 minutes right so um, I hope you guys enjoyed that so sorry for my ding badness um, I really feel like quite ooh you know what I mean um, so I'm going to try and do a couple of more videos on some of the things that I mentioned here because I realized I don't have a video up. But I hope you guys have a fantastic start to 2013. And again, I will try and upload, you know, pretty regularly, but I'm really not filming except once every three months or so. So, you know, if you have questions, oh, what were you wearing that day? I don't know. That was like probably three months ago. So that's really the only change. I'm... Um, you know, it's going to take me longer to get back to you. I always do try and get back to you. And some of the questions, if you're asking about something, you have to sort of be specific because even though I've uploaded it, I might have shot that months earlier. So that's sort of the only thing. Um, what else? What else can I say? Anyways, i got to shut up now because 26 minutes. Right. And I will see you in 2013. Bye, guys.